Typing Unicode Greek uh, on Windows is a little less technical than typing Hebrew, but there's still a few things that you need to do to set it up and to do it properly. The first thing that you need to do is to download uh, appropriate files, including a, a Unicode-capable font and then a keyboard map. The second thing is to tell Windows that you're actually ready to type in Unicode. And then the third thing is to actually do it and practice it. The first thing that you need to do is to download an appropriate keyboard map. Logos has published one that's very useful, it's handy. So uh, Google Logos Unicode fonts, and then you'll notice that there is a, a font website on the Logos domain. Go to that, and then towards the bottom of this page, you'll see an option to download a Greek polytonic keyboard layout. Click that, and then it'll open up the PDF and download that and save it to your computer somewhere. We'll reference this as we actually type in Unicode Greek. The second thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have a Unicode capable font on your system. My preference is the Gentium Plus font, so download that from the uh, SIL website and then uh, install it so that it's working on your system. The second step to type Unicode Greek on Windows is to tell Windows that you're ready to type in Greek. You'll need to go to your control panel and go to the clock, language, and region settings and then go to Change Input Methods. Click on Add a Language, and then scroll down until you can see Greek. Click that, and add it. And now you'll notice that it's been added to your input languages. The keyboard layout, though, that is the default is not the one we want to use. It's not for polytonic Greek, which includes the accents and breathing marks. So here, click Options, and then Add an Input Method, and make sure that you choose Greek polytonic. Now you'll notice that you have two input methods. Let's remove the uh, original one and so you're left with only Greek polytonic. What this means is is now that your computer is ready to uh, receive Greek polytonic as an input so that you can actually type in Greek. Typing in Unicode Greek is a little bit difficult because there are a couple of oddities in the way that the system is designed. We downloaded before the keyboard map Open that file and let me talk you through a couple of issues very quickly. What you'll notice is that there are obvi some obvious connections between Greek letters and various keys. For example, the uh, A key gets you the alpha, etc. But you don't always want to type the alpha by itself. Sometimes you need a breathing mark or sometimes you need an accent. Notice that on the keyboard map there are a lot of keys that are marked in yellow. These are keys that would provide an accent or a breathing mark to a particular character. The way that you uh, type them is to type the accent or breathing mark first and then type the letter that you want. So for example, in order to get an alpha with a breathing mark, you would first type the key for the breathing mark and then you would type the A for the alpha. This is a little bit odd because what it does is it, it, it feels weird because you're typing a key and you won't see anything on your um, uh, document, but the computer knows that you're about to type something that requires an accent, so it's prepared for that, and then when you do type the appropriate letter, it'll combine them into the appropriate uh, letter with the accent mark. So if we go back to our notepad, what you'll notice is that I can now type in English as I would normally, but then if I want to, I can switch to Greek. Now in order to do that, I have to do two things. I have to first make sure that I'm using a font that, is, uh, that includes Greek Unicode characters. For example, I have some different fonts here from the Gentium font family. I have Galatia SIL, which is a, uh, a Unicode capable font. So as I switch to that, now the, the font is in place, but now I have to tell the system that I want to type in Greek. And in Windows, you do that by going down to your language bar and then selecting Greek. And now as I type, the characters will be in Greek. Now notice what happens though as I type my, my keystrokes. Um, if I want to type a alpha with a uh, rough breathing mark, I cannot type the alpha first and then the rough breathing mark. That won't work. What I need to do is to type the rough breathing mark first and then type the alpha. Now you won't see anything when you type the rough breathing mark, but the computer knows that you are about to type a character that will take that um, breathing mark and so it's prepared to uh, add that. If you were to type a character that would not take that, then you can see that it, it put, outputs both characters and you can correct that. So uh, just note that it's going to look and feel a little weird until you learn the keystrokes, but once you do, it's going to be fairly simple to type uh, whatever you need to in Greek. Then when you're done, you can simply go back to your language bar, go back to English, 
and then type as needed.